Hey friends, so I said that I was going to stop doing Strictly Dead by Daylight content and I thought that it'd be fun to go on and uh, kick this off by doing a real old man moment on my part by just essentially complaining about social media. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rank every social media on a tier list uh, courtesy of Tier Maker, even though instead of what they had with, you know, S, A, B and all that, I decided to rename the categories. Uh, in the categories we have good, these are the uh, these are the actual quality ones. Eh, these are the ones that you know I might I might use them from time to time. They're nothing special. Bad. These are the ones that we don't like so much. Stinky. These are even worse than bad. They're pretty pretty low tier. Garbage. It does not get much worse than garbage outside of of course Twitter, our lowest tier. Now I'm not going to tell you what goes in that tier, but uh, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Without wasting any more time, I'm going to jump right in because my videos always run way too long. LinkedIn is the first one, and honestly, LinkedIn is, it's, it's fine. It does what it's there to do. It's the best place to go and sexually harass people just looking to make business connections. I cannot tell you how many times I've seen people screenshotting where uh, usually men are treating it as if it's some kind of dating site. But even so, it actually has a valid, useful purpose. And overall, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's uh, it, it it's fine. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in the good one. It it has its purposes, and that's more than most of these can say. Now, this next one, I'm going to reveal myself as quite the boomer. I have no idea what this is. I have no earthly idea what the little quotation marks are. Maybe this is a really really good app. Maybe it's not. Either way, I can't rank it, uh, so I'm just going to leave it down here because I do not know what it is. If somebody will tell me in the comments, maybe I can uh, reply to whoever tells me first and I can say, ah, that's what that is. Okay, well, here's where I put it. Next up, we have the message logo for iPhone. Uh, again, you know, you, you might want to be sarcastic here, but, you know, text messages, they're a good thing. It's good to be able to text people. You know, it's not always, it's not always what you want to hear, but overall, yeah, it could be a lot worse. Next up. We have the logo for WhatsApp, I believe. I am again, uh, I'm, I'm a bit, I'm a bit out of touch. I don't tend to know things, but I am like 90% sure that that's WhatsApp, uh, which I, I have WhatsApp. I don't really use it, but uh, I do have it. And again, you know, it's, it's, it's messaging. I like it slightly less than, you know, like texting or something. So we'll put WhatsApp here. It's fine. It's a, it's a decent enough. You know, it's a, it's a decent enough one. I don't know. Next up, we have Apple Music. Now, I don't know if this is the one where you can get the subscription service, but growing up, I always had iTunes where you had to go and pay a dollar for every song. And, you know, at the time that seemed fine, but now that I have moved on to uh, Spotify, I, I just can't imagine going back to that. We're gonna put it in bad. It could be a lot worse, but it could also be much, much better. <laughs> Next up, we have Twitter. Uh, controversially, this one's going to go in the Twitter tier. Now, say what you will about Twitter. You may love it. Uh, that's fine. You're allowed to like Twitter. But I think Twitter is unironically one of the leading causes for why the world is so angry all the time. I've heard people tell me that, no, 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 people are already angry. They just get to go express it on Twitter. I don't think so. I think people form their little echo chambers. And no matter who you are, by the way, the odds are if you're on Twitter, you formed an echo chamber. Even if you don't really realize it, the odds are you have. Uh, I found that happen to myself back when I was using Twitter a lot. I have since stopped using the app. It was actually making me depressed. It is the only social media that has affected me in a severely negative way. Everybody on there is miserable. Most people on there are pathetic. This is the modern day Salem witch trials and it's carrying out every day on Twitter. Twitter is the worst of the worst. I have no love for Twitter. And that's saying something because you see the next one at Paco, he's, he's right there with me. He doesn't like Twitter either. Uh, the next thing we have up is TikTok. And you probably think that I'm going to give TikTok the same thing that I give Twitter. But actually, TikTok is slightly better than Twitter. Does that mean it's good? Fuck no. TikTok's awful. But the thing that differentiates TikTok from some of the other low tier social medias is that TikTok actually has some funny people on it. Now, is TikTok overall a good thing? No, it sucks, I hate it. 
But at the same time, there are truly funny people on TikTok and that keeps it from being absolute dog water. So I'm gonna put it in garbage, but it does not get the same tier as Twitter. Yes, TikTok is where all the craziest people from Twitter went so that they could, you know, condescend and speak down to you because you don't keep up with the latest trends and wokeology and whatnot. Which by the way, when I say wokeology, you know, I, I, I'm not some kind of, you know, uh, right wing nut. I just, I just can't do it, man. I go on TikTok. I always thought of myself as a pretty accepting and loving guy. And then I go on TikTok and I'm like, huh, maybe, maybe, maybe I am a dick. Uh, but I, I don't know that that's, I don't know that it's me. Maybe it's them, but either way, TikTok makes me feel funny. And just to address the, uh, the criticism that you often hear, oh, it's spyware for the CCP. Yeah, but who cares? Every app is spyware. I don't know why we're going to pretend like this one app is especially bad because it's spyware. Yeah, they're all spyware. They're all taking your data. Who cares? <laughs> you know, I if you're going to get onto one app for doing it, it just feels like intellectual honesty would say, yeah, let's let's just let's get into all of them. Uh, next up, we have 4chan and <laughs> 4chan. You know, I don't really have to say a lot about 4chan. I think their reputation precedes them. I think most people know what 4chan is, what 4chan is about, how 4chan is. And, you know, at the end of the day, 4chan, they're the nicest bunch of Nazis you'll ever meet, right? <laughs> yeah, 4chan, you look at it and they, they've got this weird thing where sometimes they see something and they're like, I'm going to go destroy this person's life. And then sometimes they have that wholesome, you know, like they, they gave that uh, that old man just a birthday party to remember, even though Reddit claimed credit for it, because that's what Reddit does. They take shit that other people do, and they're like, oh, look what we did. Um, you know what? 4chan's awful. It's disgusting. It's just, it's hell on earth. But it's still better than Twitter and TikTok, so it goes in the stinky. Next up, we have SoundCloud, which, I don't know, like, it, it, it's not, it's not a good platform. It's not a bad platform. Maybe there's something really ugly about SoundCloud, I don't know. But overall, I'd say it is what it is. Uh, next up, we have Snapchat, which is just kind of pointless in the modern day. You know, when I was in high school, uh, Snapchat was all the rage. Everybody wanted to have a Snapchat. And it, it really got to the point where you'd meet somebody new and they'd be like, oh, what's your Snap? And, you know, I was never super into Snapchat, but I understood the appeal of it as much as my outdated and ignorant mind can understand the appeal of anything. Yeah, I'm just going to put it in bad. I think they're a lot worse than Snapchat. And really, Snapchat's biggest flaw is that if you try to go look at all the news sections they have, what you're going to end up with a lot of is just clickbait on clickbait on clickbait. It is so clickbaity, it actually makes YouTube look very authentic and genuine. Snapchat's crazy. It's always some hyper-sexualized picture with some crazy headline, and then you click it, and it's just, it's nothing. It's a nothing burger. It is completely forgetful whatever they're trying to tell you in their story. Uh, but I follow all the cute animal accounts, so Snapchat actually, it's got a slightly softer place in my heart. <laughs> Next up is DeviantArt, which is, uh, I mean, it's, it's kind of, I put DeviantArt in the same type of category as SoundCloud. But instead of bad rapping, it's just usually really detailed pictures of furries fucking each other. Uh, it's going to go in bad, but I actually think DeviantArt, you know, like, keep doing what you're doing. Because if DeviantArt were to fall, uh, it'd be like when Tumblr fell and all the worst parts of Tumblr spilled out to other social media. So, you know, I do I like DeviantArt? Not particularly, but, you know, I hope it keeps doing what it's doing. Discord. Discord is a controversial one, but I'm actually going to put it in the good. And I understand the criticisms about Discord. I understand that Discord is not perfect. However, most of Discord's problems come from the user base and not the administration. If you look at the actual app of Discord, you get a lot. Uh, it's actually a pretty generous app. This is one of the more user-friendly apps. And I sometimes wonder how long we're going to be, be able to enjoy Discord as it currently is before either they heavily monetize it or they have to make drastic changes. Because right now, you are allowed to do quite a lot with Discord. Uh, and it's it's really impressive that it's all free. Now, obviously, I mentioned free. They do have Discord Nitro, which is a fucking scam. But if you want to do it and you want to boost your server, whatever, that's up to you. I wouldn't personally do it myself, but uh, to each their own, right? Next up, we have Facebook, which if any app on this list needs no introduction to literally anyone watching, it's Facebook. 
Facebook has been a massive thing for about as long as I've been alive. And Facebook is awful. It's awful. I really, really do not like Facebook. Now, I will give Facebook credit that it is a very versatile site where you can do all kinds of things. And for that, it's going to go above the Twitter and garbage tier, but I don't think I can justify putting it any higher than stinky tier. Facebook is really, really rough. And frankly, of all the social medias, I guess maybe I see the appeal of this one out of the really popular social medias, but every time I log on, I just see the dumbest shit. I just see something about Uncle Earl who thinks the vaccine is going to put a microchip in you. And it just, it really is the most frustrating shit that I think I've ever seen. I cannot go on Facebook without thinking less of family, friends, or somebody that I vaguely know. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Facebook is like Twitter, except with Facebook, I know almost everybody on a personal level. So when they, when they put stupid things, it makes me angrier. That being said, yard sale is pretty useful. And I have a couple of cool groups I'll check in with every now and then to look at cool pictures of like lizards and shit. So, you know, again, I can't put it on the TikTok and Twitter level, but it's pretty bad. Next up, we have Google Plus. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean, any any Google Plus fans here? Anybody really big on Google Plus? Um, I don't even hate Google Plus. I just, I don't care it'll go in bad and i know it's like oh i don't care put it in eh. but no it is bad it's not good um next up we have messenger which is kind of tied at the hip to facebook so it's gonna just go right into stinky and we're just gonna keep moving on now reddit's interesting because some people always talk about reddit and they want to talk about the you know the old days of reddit back before reddit sucked i think that reddit it's kind of interesting in that it went from being a right-wing circle jerk to a left-wing circle jerk and i think that both versions kind of suck because i'm not a super political guy so you know for example i'll get messages from reddit because i guess i have that enabled on my phone i don't know why but it'll say oh you should join this discord and then i always go and i look at top posts of all time it's just the most negative fucking platform it is just a real bummer of a platform. Well, I'd say the most negative platform. Twitter's more negative. But honestly, Reddit is pretty fucking ass. Uh, the meme pages, people are always like, ah, oh, but you can go find funny stuff on the meme pages. And there are a couple of, I guess, decent subreddits. I just haven't found them yet. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put Reddit in the garbage tier. The absolute messiah complex that people have on Reddit is fucking pathetic. I do not like it. I am not into it. I do not like Reddit. Next up is Instagram, the vanity machine of our time. This is where you can find out who in your life thinks they are really, really hot. Who thinks they should be a model? And you know what? All of them are hot. It actually turns out, you know, sometimes you know hot people. Uh, you know, Instagram, it's not good. I don't like it. But I will say, at least as opposed to Reddit, I, I follow a few funny accounts on Instagram, even though I check it like maybe twice a month. We'll put it in the stinky. Instagram could be worse, it could be better, it's, it's fine. It's fine for what it is, as like one of the one of the big players. Uh, next up, we can do, I want to say this is on iPhone when you're going to video chat with somebody, and I do not like video chatting with people because I am not an attractive human being. See, I'm not one of them on Instagram who thinks I should be a model. If I was going to be a model, I guess maybe, maybe my nose, I have a perfect schnoz, uh, no pics, just believe it happened. Uh, it, it'll go in stinky. I don't like it very much. I always get really bummed out when people try to video chat me instead of just calling me or texting me. Uh, which, yes, I am an old man who likes, uh, I like to call. I like to call because I'm always driving and I don't want to text and drive. So, you know, I, I don't know. I don't love video chats, but, you know, let's move them up to bad. They have their place. Uh, actually, you know what? Look, we're moving all the way up to eh. I changed my mind. They are useful in the right context. Um, that doesn't mean that they're good, though. Next up is Twitch. Twitch is a really cool idea that would be in the good tier if the people who work at Twitch weren't the dumbest fucking people on planet Earth. Uh, which, I mean, is the type of thing where I don't even know if, like, by saying this, if my Twitch account is going to get canceled. Like, if it's going to get banned. Uh, at DOS underscore food on Twitch, by the way. But, you know, it, it's a cool concept. Twitch is a cool concept. And for all that I can complain about, you know, there is a reason that they're in the position that they're in. Twitch could be a lot worse and it could be a lot better. I'm going to put it in bad, 
But you know what? I do like it a lot more than pretty much anything under it. Uh, Kick. I mean, Kick's another one like Google+. Plus. It's like, who has a strong opinion here? Who has a strong opinion about Kick? I'm gonna put it in bad, just because who cares, right? Now, MySpace. MySpace is back before the internet was fully tamed, and it was cringy, and it was nutty, and you heard some dumb shit. But at the same time, it was so authentic. It was such an authentic place. I'm gonna put it in bad as well, but I, I wanna clarify that one of the great tragedies of social media is that MySpace fell apart because the odds are it would have been corporatized and ruined all the same, but there was an aspect of MySpace that was undeniably cool. Like the custom walls, getting to put your friends in a ranking of one to five, are you kidding me? Do you know the power that came with removing a friend from your top five. Fucking nutty. It actually wasn't five, by the way. I think it was eight. I think it was the top eight. Uh, yeah, no, MySpace had some things going for it, but ultimately what it had going against it was it went up against the Zuck, and that was always going to be a losing battle. Pinterest. Pinterest has a lot of dumb shit. I guess I'm going to say that about most of these. But you know what? Pinterest is super useful. Pinterest has helped me in numerous areas of my life. And it's not just like, you know, I know some people use it to find like cooking recipes and all that. I've personally used it to try to get inspiration for tattoo ideas. Uh, when I was on the teaching track, I would look up cool classroom activities to do. So, you know, Pinterest, I appreciate Pinterest. It's fine. I like Pinterest. Uh, Cora, 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 probably. It's where you go to get bad answers from the internet. Uh, you know, on its surface, it sounds like a good thing, right? Yeah, go ask the internet. But then you realize that the internet is full of idiots because a lot of people are really stupid. It'll get an eh because at least it has a bit of a noble goal, right? Skype. Skype is... I don't know, man. What are you supposed to say about Skype, right? Like, let's put, let's put Skype and Zoom both in the eh. Skype and Zoom are just eh. They're fine. Like, what well, they do what they say they're going to do, right? And... I guess Zoom did have that big uh, that big leak, so maybe they're not so good. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, let's move Zoom down. Zoom Zoom got in some trouble. They were very naughty. Uh, next up, we have Spotify, uh, and I'm I'm just gonna go and say it. I like Spotify. Spotify is an app that I find myself using literally every day. It is really convenient, and the end of your wrap up is as dumb as it is fun. So you know what, Spotify, good on you. I like you. Steam, Steam is a company. Uh, not a company, I know Valve owns Steam. Steam is a platform that has built up a lot of goodwill and also done some shitty things in the past. Overall, though, I think that Steam is kind of similar to Discord, where one day it's going to be ruined and we're going to look back and say, wow, we had it good. Not perfect, but good. I overall like Steam, even if Gabe Newell and company have done some things that other people have gone into much greater detail about that would probably give uh, probably give wiser wiser people more hesitation about putting them down there but uh yeah you know overall it's fine next up we have tinder i'm actually really surprised that tinder seems to be the only dating app we have on here i thought at least bumble would be on here um i'm kind of surprised that it's just tinder but you know i'm glad it's tinder because now i can go on the minor rant of saying that tinder is not only a depressing hellscape it is also downright predatory it preys upon the insecurities of men and women who are struggling to find romantic connections. This is an app for the widely, widely just attractive people, the most attractive of the attractive, right? They will enjoy their experience on this app. Everybody else, the other 90% of users on this app are going to walk away from it worse than they were when they entered it. I do not like Tinder. I am not, I, you know, and look, I used to use Tinder. I tried it. And I'll say that the dates I got off of it, I never had a good one. I never had a good date off of Tinder. Sincerely, not even one. <laughs> and this isn't some angry incel yelling, oh, women don't want to touch my pee pee. No, it's not about that. <laughs> it's, it's not about that at all. I do not like the very foundation of Tinder. Tinder is set up for shallow, meaningless connections. And if that's what you're into, that's great. But even then, this is an app that wants to prey upon those who they're they're right they're 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 frustrated. They look at it and they say, ah, I, 
can see that three people have liked me. I wonder who they are. So they're gonna pay whatever it is, 10 or $15 for the monthly subscription. It may be more than that, I don't know. And then it's not gonna improve their odds at all, right? Oh, you can boost your profile, thank goodness. Yeah, Tinder, out of all the apps on here, it is one of the lowest of the low. Tinder is garbage, and the only way I can possibly expect you to say otherwise is sincerely if you're really attracted and uh, attractive and you've just had a really bomb ass time on there. And if you have, I'm genuinely happy for you. I actually think that's cool because I've never heard about anyone having a good time on Tinder. So please share your comment, share your experience in the comments below, right? Next up is YouTube. YouTube is a bit of an interesting one because I think most people here have watch some things on YouTube they really, really enjoy. And there is a, there's a part of me that's really grateful for YouTube, but then there's also a part of me that worries YouTube is trying really, really hard to kill itself. And it's very sad to see, it's not what I like to see. YouTube is unfortunately a good platform that could be a great platform. I don't understand some of the decisions YouTube makes. Like why have YouTube kids and then YouTube regular, but make it where you can't say curse words on YouTube regular? Like, is, is this the kids one or not? That kind of thing, that's really stupid. Obviously, they let the big companies really abuse copyright claims. Uh, YouTube is not what I would call good. But then I think about the fact that I get to watch things like Internet Historian for completely free. And it's like, eh, I can't hate it too much. Next up is Vine. Vine is wildly overrated. People have compiled all the best Vines in the compilations. So they look back and they say, wow, Vine was awesome. No, it wasn't. Most of Vine was really, really bad content. I would say 90% plus of Vine was unfunny, unoriginal, and it really showed the constraints of what, a, what, a six, seven second video? I can't remember how long they were. You think of some of the famous Viners that have come out of it? Some of them were really talented, like Drew Gooden, and then some of them were like King Batch. Not funny, I did not deserve the credit that they get. Uh, it's, uh, unless you like jokes about, you know, big spoons, only spoonful. Uh, it was a bad platform, but it did make for some great compilations. And finally, we'll close with Omegle. I mean, I don't really, I don't hate Omegle and I certainly don't love Omegle. It's, it's given some funny, it's kind of like Vine, right? Like it gives you some funny moments, but then overall, is it a good platform? <sighs> no, <laughs> we're gonna put it in bad. I don't think Omegle is a good platform, but at the same time, it is funny watching uh, watching people, you know, just do dumb shit on there, whether it's a Kermit the Frog stroking a cucumber, or racist Joker man being weirdly racist, or, you know, whatever it is. Omegle's, Omegle's a fucking wasteland. I don't even know what Omegle is at this point. I mean, I know it's a chat room. If anyone says, oh, it's a chat room. I, I know what it is. I just don't know how it is. Like, I don't know how this thing is still going, because I remember being a kid playing around on Omegle, uh, which I probably shouldn't have. But yeah, overall, that's going to do it for me. Uh, this is my tier list. I actually was a lot more positive than I thought I'd be. I mean, you look at that, it's what? It's 12 of them that were at least eh or better. Uh, and then the bad tier was easily the most populated tier. So we didn't really put all that much in the stinky garbage or Twitter tier. So overall, I'm pretty happy with that. I think it turns out I'm, I'm a little higher on social media than I thought it was. But I told myself I was not going to let this get to the 30 minute mark. And currently we are almost at the 25 minute mark. So let me know where you disagree. Uh, tell me where I'm wrong in the comments below. Tell me how, you know, your favorite app should have been higher up or your least favorite should have been lower down. And overall, just uh, leave comments because it engages with the video and that's what we all want, right? No, just me? <laughs> okay, just me then. Until next time, bye friends.